Back to the tight end, because they can't stop him. I'm not going to stop till they stop him, and they can't! Hill again! D-Mark got that E. Hill crush. Hill crush. Hill crush here, man. Hill crush. Look. Check me out. Said I really want my city, I be trapping day and night Tell them pussies I'm on murder, I know they don't wanna fight If we see the ops in traffic, slide the doors and hit the lights If I jump out with this bitch, I bet he run like Jay Rice So I turn into a demon, nigga, shoulda took my life I can't lay up with no holo, bitch, you cannot stay the night I got pimpin' in my blood, turn to a bitch like Money Mike I was following a dark path, I swear I seen the light That's to kill, the only option, niggas don't know how to fight Took the long way through hell, I swear this shit been a hype I was searching for a way, I meditated, locked my sight, put a sight on the chop, you can't get hit from any height, but I'm with that. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Georgia Tech Dynasty. Welcome back to where it all started. The lab, the home studios here back in Detroit, Michigan. I'm John Eads back with you with the Dynasty. This might be the last time I record a game in this room. I might do a couple more in here, but this is where I started with the Oregon State Dynasty. Check it out if you haven't already. Over 150 episodes on there. We rebuilt Oregon State in this room right here on this TV. It's actually a new TV. It's a big TV. I love it. Uh, but now we're trying to rebuild Georgia Tech. As you can see, we're already well on our way to doing that. Won the ACC last year. 4-0, number three in the country. Beat Ohio State. Beat NC State. And uh, we won our last games. I forget who we even played. Syracuse, my alma mater, as you can see. Uh, wasn't close. But now today we got Clemson. Clemson week. Big week. Next best team in the ACC, and we beat them last year. We got to beat them this year. Let's do some pregame recruiting, check out the guys visiting, and we'll get right into it. We're not wasting any time today. Let's go. We have recruited at an unreal rate so far. And by the way, if you haven't noticed already, super quick, new video format. They're shorter videos, 12, 15 minutes, pregame recruiting, game, postgame recruiting, all included. So no more recruiting episodes and game episodes, all mixed into one, 12, 15 minutes, just so you guys can get in, get out, keep up, like the video, sub to the channel, please. Road to a thousand subs, we're on it right now. So, Chris Allen committed to Georgia, we don't care. He was a dual threat quarterback and just athlete cheese, we don't need him. He's out of Georgia. Here's what we got so far, we got commits on commits on commits. Seven commitments right now. Look at all the 80 overalls. Michael Ryan, A.J. Lynch, Joe Chandler, McCoy, Porter. I mean, these are cornerstone prospects. And at every position, too, you see the diversity there. So now we're trying to fill out our class. We have, I think, eight spots left to fill. We'll check it right here. As you can see, go to that blue check mark and down. Um, we have seven people signed, and there are 14 seniors. So we have seven spots left in our class. I'm trying to hit the defensive line a little bit and uh, really just upgraded other spots as well so Harrell would be a nice get for us he's an athlete he's a wide receiver so we would uh, love to have a big play receiver on the outside we're kind of missing that big lanky guy like 6'1 he's not that not that tall but he's a great athlete uh, Willis we're trying to bring in a second tight end to make a very beastly tandem there so we'll give him some points uh, bump up Dory to 400 here and uh, Shelton Logan as well. We're starting to make some moves here, although he really likes Georgia State in state team. We're in the lead for Jeff Watson. We still need a D tackle. This is our top prospect, 6'4, 257. Uh, we'll keep with this fullback. We don't really use fullbacks, but you know, can always use them for utility plays and things of that nature. Bump him up. David Johnson who is, um, he's not great, he's pretty decent, he's 94, he's actually pretty darn good, I mean, I'm just uh, tuck myself into that one, give him a scholarship, Bell, our ball rather, our second option at D-Tackle, we maxed out, losing to Tennessee there, uh, Babcock as well, we're in the lead for him, so that's good, let's give Justice some more points and a scholarship, so we've got 25 points left to spend, don't need another quarterback, so Chris Bell can dip out. I do like this strong safety uh, right here, so we'll give him the rest of the points. We're in the lead for him. we got to schedule some visits, too. Why don't we bring these guys in right now since, uh, you know, we got the game against Clemson at home. Complimentary visit there. Complimentary visit there. Comp visit. Nope, but he has a lot of visits scheduled. Sheesh, we really got to show out today. Uh, we're going to hold off on him because we're going to lose some points if we bring him in now. So we'll wait on Babcock for UNC. Although that might mean he's going to lose his spot in this class to commit. But you know what? Don't uh, take points away from my guys. And that won't be a problem, you know? 
All right, there we go. Those are scheduled. So here's who's coming in this week. We got 14 people coming in on visits this week. So big wide receiver, our number one wide receiver prospect, Harold Willis, uh, who would be just kind of a luxury pick. Uh, Justin Elbert, who could play a couple different positions, defensive, secondary, uh, lineman. We need Jeff Watson, so we got to show up for him and really just uh, other linemen. So we got Clemson today, number 17 team in the country. Lee's rolling with us. Here's our season stats so far. Earl Edwards, just a couple yards away from 1,000 passing. Grant's really picked up his level of play. He's now in the Heisman watch list, by the way, number three. Uh, Sean Brown having a good season as well. Looks like they run the ball really well, efficiently, eight per carry. Pass it to Harrison pretty well. And that's really about it. They just ha had a game against UVA, which they lost. And uh, they beat Duke, but that's about it. So they're pretty improved. And uh, we're going to show them why they're not a very good team. Let's go. Yes, sir! Let's go! Chance for an early stop. Oh, damn. Saw that too late. Oh, jeez. Wow, we did not tackle well at all on that drive. They just ran right down our throat. Is, that, is there a flag, though? Yes, sir! We got a clip. Bring it back. Oh, how did he sneak that through? Good tackle. Draw. Oh, God. Man, we just can't sift through the blockers. It's under that strong safety. In route. Just tackle. There you go. Oh, wow. I thought we could thread the needle, or at least if he did that, he'd be out of bounds. But that's a hell of a play. Get home. Man, defense just not existed so far. Slants. Oh, come. And, and he holds on to that? Come out, boy! Nice! We needed that. Draw. Just got to tackle. There you go! Oh my god. This is one of the worst starts we've ever had by far. Oh, come on. Why is he so open? Where are we? We just absolutely got bullied there. <laughs> We're terrible in the trenches. This might work. There we go. That's something. There we go. How about we go to Sean Brown for some plays? Got him. In route. Go, Hill. Get in there. Oh, Needed that. Come here, boy. Screen. On that. Nice. Bang. Tight end's been big this game. I don't even know who that is. Oh, he's wide open. Catch and run. Go. 20, 15 if he was any faster. The touchdown. Yeah, bring that blitz. That's zone. We'll check that down. Robinson, go. Everybody's so slow. Oh, get to the corner. Yes. I don't know if he was in or not. We'll take it. Make that tackle, man. Nope, no screens. Slant routes. What? No, no, don't. Shit. What the 
hell was that? We'll take it. There's Livingston. Good pass. Oh, nice move. Let's go, Edwards. Man coverage. Should have the out. Bingo, Livingston. And he's out of bounds. Stop the clock. Good hole. Yeah, we got that first down. Best run of the day for Grant. Got him. Got him. Stay in. Keep for Edwards. Get to the pylon. Let's go. It's been tight ends all day. Nobody else can win today with the tight ends. Let's go, Hill. Got him again. Their slow linebackers cannot cover the tight ends. Yep, everybody knows who we're passing it to here. They do too. They just still can't stop this man. Better put a nickel on him or something. Yep, look at him. Look at him. How about Joey Hill? Me that. Bruh. Are you kidding me? How is that not picked off? Nope. Let's go! He had three guys open and he threw it away. Really? A blitz after what just happened? Got him. Nelson off the press. He's got a step. One man to beat. Let's go, baby! Thomas Nelson inside the 10. Back to the tight end, because they can't stop him. I'm not going to stop till they stop him, and they can't! Hill again! No! <laughs> Yeah, nice man. Nice play. Yep, saw that one coming. Oh, we got it off. Ah! Get in there, Robinson. Nice little. This strong safety is so good. I love him. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let me just get a mill ticket, drop a hundred, and it made me feel different. When I'm driving the foreign, it's still different. When I'm turning the corners, and wheels just. Now I get money, my mill's different. I pray to God it got heal different. I know my bro dead, but he's still living. By the ice on my wrist, so I chill different. Grinding to just get a mill ticket. Drop blue hundreds and it made me feel different. When I'm driving the Give me that. Oh, let's go, right? Oh, you better not get. Oh, come on, man. I don't think that's actually. Tough. Yeah, first career Tony from Mike Butler. 
Ball game, offensive, explosion, really responded well, and we're 5-0. and Crown of the ACC runs through Atlanta still. All right, big day for Edwards, about 400 yards passing. Two mistakes today with the two picks, but super efficient. Uh, offensive line wasn't great either. Not much in the run game today. Ran just 63 yards. Did have two touchdowns, but Clemson blitzed most of the game, so we had to you know, dot them up through the air. Um, Edwards had two touchdowns. Butler, Mike Butler, true freshman, first career touchdown. Shout out to him. And then Andy Robinson had a score as well. Receiving, Joey Hill. Breakout game for the tight end. Seven receptions, 149 yards, 21 a pop, two touchdowns. Views on your fantasy team. That's like a Travis Kelsey-esque performance. Livingston, Robinson, Nelson, all at three catches. Nelson had a 68-yard long bomb that he caught. Not a big day for Sean Browning, two for 49, but if that's a slow day for Sean Brown, that's kind of a problem for people. Uh, Little was excellent today. The strong safety, nine tackles, as was Jackson, but we expect that Every game, that's why he's an All-American. Flanagan, eight tackles as well. Really happy with how the D-line played. I mean, look at all this pressure we got. TFLs on TFLs. Fuller and uh, Washington, my man down here. He made a big play early in the game. Big sack. One of three that we had. Pope and Flanagan had them. All right, we had a pick today. We should have had more, but Ryan Wood had the pick on that screen pass. And then, yeah, here's your boy Smith with the drop pick. And then we had others that we probably should have had, but... What are you going to do? Team stats really dominated today. Um, wasn't really like that at the beginning of the game, but we really settled in. Where's that total yards? 518. They actually outgained us, but a lot of that was in garbage time. We had a lot of short fields. Uh, third down, we were pretty solid. Red zone, we were perfect. Had an extra turnover. Um, I don't know. I mean, really, when you just think about it, we were more efficient, more often, more balanced, and we hit them with the big plays. That was the difference in the game. Look at that. Five more commits. We get our top receiver recruit, Andrew Harrell. We get Justin Albert as well. Juco Jr., he can play receiver or in the secondary. Our top D tackle prospect, Jeff Watson, on board, as is Jermaine Bell. He was our second option there, so we bring in two. We needed some more, and we got this fullback, Jeff Miller, uh, which means we got two scholarship spots left open. Let's check them out, and then we'll cut this episode. All right, here we go. So Jermaine Ball, 6'7", 252 out of Georgia. Offers from Tennessee, NC State, and Florida. Really good offer list. Um, and he's solid. He's 68 overall, but he's got some pretty good moves. 83 strength and uh, solid tackling. Jeff Miller, fullback, 6'1", 241. He'll be good enough from Griffin, Georgia. Pretty fast, honestly. Maybe he could play tight end if he bulks up a little bit. Um, so good pickup there. Jeff Watson, 6'4", 257 from North Carolina. Four-star recruit. Guy that we really wanted to de-tackle. Uh, 82 power move is the highlight for him. 80 tackle as well. Um, so we're looking forward to see what he can do for us in the trenches. Wake, UNC, Old Dominion. So basically the North Carolina schools wanted him. Justin Elbert, 6'2", 201, three-star, lower-ranked athlete. Super fast, 91, 85. He's got decent tackle, really good route running, really good catching. How's his man coverage? Man and zone coverage are great. Spectacular catch is good, 94 carry. So he could play running back, he could play wide receiver. Receiver, he can play safety, or he can play corner. So a really um, versatile guy. He is a Juco junior, though, so just two years of eligibility. This is the dude right here. Andrew Harrell, 6'1", 197, 84 speed, 94 excel, 81 jumping, 80 catching traffic, 75 route running, 79 catching, 78 spectacular catch, good juke move. You get the picture. This dude is a stud. Only offer from us, but he probably should have had other offers. So... That is what we got right now. We have 12 guys signed. So we got two scholarships still available. And we will tackle who those go to in the next episode. All right, that'll wrap it up. We bumped up to number two in the country, 5-0. and Took down Clemson. Still the class of the ACC. That was probably the most competition we're going to get all year. They dropped the 22 in the country. Uh, we got a bye week coming up. We'll dive back into recruiting. We only got two spots left, so there's not going to be much more recruiting left to do. Our class is phenomenal. We built on it this week. Let's continue to do that. Like the video. Sub to the channel. We'll catch you all in the next episode. We'll do the bye week recruiting, and then obviously get into the next game. We'll catch you then. Peace.